Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, John Macho. Uh, You know what I'm saying? We back again, and we're here to talk about talk about the man, Daniel Williamson Duncan. Duncan? Duncan? I think that's his name. I don't even know if that's how he's supposed to say it, but I mean, hey, that's his name. But he goes, a.k.a. the White Dragon, who was a white, who was a white supremacist posing as a vigilante driven by his mission to eradicate minorities through both public opinion and violence. Basically, this video was basically, was basically the embodiment of the of the, uh, of the, uh, the triple K's. The embodiment of the triple K's. I see why he's the white dragon. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Excuse me. He manifested his powers after the Metabomb event and spent a great deal great deal of time training and refining them. Funded by the ultra, ultra right, eh, excuse me, right wing groups, he hired, he hired the Metatech Corporation to create the, the white dragon persona. With his new suit, they also helped from a public relations campaign so that the white dragon could initially be perceived as a superhero, thus making it easier to get a subtly worded racist message out to out to the public ladies and gentlemen don't be like this guy here man look at the love 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 thy love each other no matter the skin color that's what i say but anywho he operated as a vigilante out of chicago out of chicago as previously stated you know targeting racial minorities you know he's out there in the south side of chicago going out Going out, you know, saying Chief Keith and his crew, all that stuff, you know. Um, but while operating out in Chicago, he was careful to obey the law, but only attacking criminals by only attacking criminals and refraining from killing. However, he eventually clashed with Hawk Woman, who took offense to Decanon's racist and misogynistic ideal ideology, and eventually exposed his identity while assisting while assisting lawmakers looking into his actions. Duca- however, Duchanan proved to be a crafty manipulator of the media and used his used his conflict with Hawkwoman to pay himself as being persecuted for his unpopular political opinions. Basically he just tried to pull a reverse he tried to pull that Uno reverse card on her. Good move. Good move, Dan. Good move. When Shayera and Hawkman Shara is Hawkman, by the way, went on the ground to escape to escape extradition. Extradition. Duquesne took the took the opportunity to go on a rampage through Chicago and setting fires to low income minority neighborhoods. Jesus Christ! So you tell me this man just burned down the whole South Side? Dang, man! Glad he didn't do it when Kanye was coming. Jesus. <laughs> But, um, yeah, he burned down a whole bunch of, like, low-income minority neighborhoods, killed a lot of minorities and all that stuff. And Qatar and, Qatar and Shaira, Shaira managed to stop him with the assistance of fellow Hawkman, Carter Hall, and Hawk Girl. At one point, the White Dragon resurfaced as a member of the four race, now astride in now stride an actual white dragon. He, alongside other Nazi Nazi supervillains, attacked the Justice Society and their headquarters. Now, there also is an iteration of the white dragon, which is in Peacemaker, who is Peacemaker's father, at least in the show. He's Peacemaker's father, but we're just going to save that for like another time, probably. But let's go over his powers and abilities real quick. So first off, he has pyrokinesis, obviously, because he can wield he can wield and control fire that's produced from his own body, usually via via destructive blasts or slashing with short with short range blades of flame that he usually just puts on his hand, or will just grab like a sword or a dagger or something like that. Whenever he activates his power, his body ignites, giving him a monstrous fiery appearance with a skull like the skull like face, hence the white dragon. Or well, not hence the white dragon part, but you you get it, man. He also has the ability to fly, and he has he has his infamous white dragony armor, which allows Daniel to focus focus in his abilities as well as well as grant him super strength and agility, which hence 
is why he is the white dragon. Well, thank you guys. Thank you guys for your time. And I'll see you guys whenever I see you guys. Peace.